contract volume in Nashville is now down 5% year over year. Now this surprised me. So I double clicked, where is contract volume down? Now, I think I found the more important issue is not location, but price band. Typically I've broken price band up into three, but I did it a little bit different this time. And the results were shocking. I can't wait to show you that. But first, before we get into that, poly market has the odds on a government shutdown by October 1st at 75%. What will that mean for the housing market? Well, Redfin posted this. If you were getting an FHA or VA loan, you could potentially experience some form of hiccup in that process. The other areas are home buyers in flood prone regions, especially in Florida, Louisiana, because there's a national flood insurance program. And then the most important, in my opinion, there is a jobs report due Friday, October 3rd, and that might not happen if we get a government shutdown. And keep in mind, if there's anything that people are highly focused on right now, it's the jobs report. It's what's going to drive mortgage rates. Keep that in mind. Now, one thing that people have said over and over again, and I kind of dismissed it, but I'm starting to see why I think people might be saying this. Home prices have to fall, not rates. Now, I'm a math guy, right? So it doesn't matter to me whether it's rates or income or price. And so initially I had dismissed this claim, but what I'm about to show you might change your perspective. Uh, it's changing mine, at least in certain areas. Mortgage rates in 2023, towards the end of 2023, mortgage rates were at 7.65% in September, all the way up to 8% by October. We are a full 110 basis points lower than where they were two years ago. It's very important for what I'm about to show you. We are 110 basis points from where we were in 2023 at this time. This is a massively lower interest rate than we had two years ago. Now let's talk about what exactly is happening. I'm gonna start with active listings because this this shocked me. This is uh, on my uh, real estate website, nashvillerealestatedata.com, the daily charts here. It updates six days a week, but you can see on September 27th, when I'm recording this, active listings dropped week over week. This, again, completely unplanned. I would have said three weeks in a row of building in September. Next week, it's gonna build even more. And the exact opposite happened. It just shows you I can't even forecast seven days out. Why would I forecast price when I can't even forecast seven days out? Active listings dropped to 92.26. Now I'm wondering, will we hit a new year-to-date high in active listings? Uh, I thought it would have been this week. It shrank this week. So kind of uh, another surprise there. Let's look at contract volume though. Contract volume is down 5.1%. I wanted to understand this a little bit more, so I wanted to do price bands, but instead of doing the price bands I always do, I broke it up around the median. And what I did was I took the median price, uh, which by the way, median price is still up 3% year over year. Go figure, right? But what I did was I took five price bands, and the most important price band to me is the 350 to 650. It's this one right here the 350 to 650. And the reason it's the most important is it's with $150,000 of the 500,000, which has been typically the median price for the past couple of years. And so what is happening in that price band? Now, when we look at contract volume, which by the way, this does include condos. So if, it, if you added them all up, the yellow, the yellow is 2025, you add them all up, it would be different than what we just looked at. Um, it'd be a little bit more because there's condos in it. But look at this. This is what I want to show you. The blue is 24. The yellow is 2025. Look at the dramatic drop in the 350 to 650 price range. Okay. The contract volume dropped 11% year over year in the 350 to 650. It didn't do that in any of the other price bands. In fact, the more higher price band you go, the stronger the market in Nashville is, but the 350 to 650 has dropped 11%. Now, why is this so shocking? Look at 2023. That's this red column here, the pink column, however it's showing up on your computer. This is higher than the contract volume today. That means if you're in the 350 to 650, mortgage rates dropped a full percent and it's no more affordable to you than it was 
two years ago. This to me says that prices have gotten so out of whack in this area that, you know, it, it goes back to that quote by Fannie Mae where, according to Fannie Mae calculations, it would take prices to fall 38%, incomes to rise 60%, or mortgage rates to drop 450 basis points or 4.15% in mortgage rates. And all of a sudden, you realize that this is the area where that needs to happen. It's the 350 to 650 range. If you are buying in the 350 to 650 range, you need to be very, very careful that the, the amount of people that can afford to buy in this market is shrinking and there's fewer and fewer people buying. These are major red flags. We're not seeing that anywhere else in the market. In fact, a lot of the buyers I help, I helped a buyer this last week. They were buying a very average $750,000 house. I say it's average. It was dated, had some foggy windows, had an old HVAC, old roof, had some crawl space issues. And you know what? They had a backup offer higher than the offer we were under contract for. Now, we pushed on them to change some things. And they looked at it and they said, well, we'll change the things we know we have to change. But that's it. And so my buyer's backed out of that contract. But think about that. A $750,000 house, they had a backup offer that was better than the offer we were under contract for. It's just shocking. So much stronger in the higher price bands. But this 350 to 650, which represents about half of the market, is getting crushed. Now, let's take a look at Davidson County. Davidson County here, you can see massive drop again stable to increase in the other price bands, but that one price band, let's look at Williamson County. Williamson County is shocking. Look at the one to two million in Williamson County. It is 30% higher. Contract volume for million dollar homes in Williamson County is dramatically higher than it was a year ago. Now, in all of the price bands, we are seeing active listings. So let's look at active listings. Okay, in all of the price bands, we're seeing more active listings. So there's more options, but that 350 to 650 dramatically higher with much lower contract volume. Let's look at my neighborhood tracker and see if we can find a neighborhood in the three to 500 range here that we could, you know, I don't want to say pick on, but that we could like look at and see how it's going. Now, Hermitage is in that area. There's, there's a neighborhood here, the villages of Riverwood. I love this neighborhood. Okay. This neighborhood 25 active listings, so it's very similar in active listings than it was last year, so no growth in this neighborhood. Contract volume, a little bit lower than last year, so it's softened just a little bit. But let's take a look at what's happening with price. We can see uh, active listings pretty high. It was pretty high last year. Let's take a look. Uh, prices have been just slightly declining in this neighborhood. Um, you can see it here. If we look, let's zoom in a little bit, we can see that Certainly they have stalled, but look at the list prices. If you look at the list prices, what do you see? You see active listing prices well below where they've been closing. That tells you this neighborhood's gotten a lot softer over the past 30, 60, 30, 60 days. And we're probably going to see, there's your contract volume. Those are the ones that are about to close. You can see prices in this neighborhood are getting pretty soft right now something to keep an eye on now if you wanted to zoom in on a specific type like let, let's say uh, let's look at the smallest if we look at the smallest attached these are going to be your townhouses townhouses are clearly dropping you can see it here they were hitting 300 a foot to 260 a foot now they're starting to get comps well below that you can see the ones actively listed are well on the much closer to the 260 side let's look at the detached let's look at the largest detached here okay here we can see major prices dropping on the larger homes in this neighborhood they peaked 250 to 260 a foot now they're 220 a foot and then look at these three holy smokes y'all these are well below the comps in this neighborhood well below the comps in this neighborhood. That is honestly shocking. Let's take a look at one of these. Um, 2941143. Yeah, 190 a foot. You can see this neighborhood, it's very soft. You look at historical comps, getting single family homes of this size under 500,000. Look at the comps. I, I honestly, I can't believe it. I, I just looked at this neighborhood. I did not know what I was going to see. Sometimes I do that for the surprise effect. I'm surprised. 
I wonder if they're, what's the year built on these? 2016, 2012? They're probably getting crushed by new builds would be my guess, but I don't know that for sure. Uh, nonetheless, you're seeing major, major price drops in this neighborhood, especially in the larger houses. Pretty surprising. The point is, is if you're looking in that price range, be more aggressive on your ask, push really hard. If people have to sell their house, which we're getting into the window where you only list your house if you have to right now, or if you really want to sell it. Now, if you're in the other price ranges, look, if you're in Williamson County and you've got a one to $2 million house, just so you know, there's way more demand right now than there was last year at this time. Way more demand. Active listings are up too. We can see active listings are up, but just not nearly. I mean, it just doesn't matter because there's so much more demand. It won't feel any better this year versus last year. But the lower the price, the mortgage rates are crushing the smaller price bands. Tell me what you're seeing. Tell me how you're seeing this play out in your neighborhoods where you are. I would love to hear it. And with that, if you find this helpful and informative, click that like button. And I look forward to seeing you next Saturday. Thanks a lot.